Hello everyone, it's my channel. Today we're doing a reading for sign of Aquarius and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Aquarius. If you'd like a personal reading, that's going to be down below in the description. We can find that on my website. You can find a bunch of other things there on that website too and it's free to sign up and join. So go ahead and go check it out. But let's see what we have going on for our squiggly line sign today. All right, we have the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups is about being in your emotions. It's about being in your feelings. It's about being, you know, in tune with your intuition here, your psychic side of Aquarius. So a lot of you guys are doing this. All right, you're in your feelings. You're in your emotions. You're in your psychic side, you know. And it feels like you're also attracting in a bunch of wealth here, a bunch of money, Aquarius. And you're overcoming every obstacle that was in your way and you're changing you're changing your life maybe you're changing your finances here some of you guys be going to some place where there's boats there's water here aquarius you're going through a major transformation in your life here emotionally and financially but this is in a positive way okay and you guys are popping up as spiritual warriors as you're progressing through life here we have the princess of pentacles the princess of pentacles is the princess that is both intuitive and practical so this could be you or just somebody that's around you, but once again, we have the moon. So we're tapping deep into your emotions, Aquarius. So let's see more about that for you. So there's surprises coming in here. There's surprise blessings coming in, Aquarius. And you guys may also be cutting off cords with the past, releasing and manifesting your heart's desires here. You're manifesting success. You're manifesting victory. Victory, you know, it's it's what you've been desiring. So it's coming in. Some of you guys are manifesting new opportunities. Others of you could be manifesting new love here, you know. Overall, it's what you desire, and it's what's coming in. And you guys are heading into a new territory of your life, a new chapter here, a brand new beginning. And it feels like you're so excited about it. You're so emotional about it. You're like, yes, this is finally happening. This is what I've been wanting. This is what I've been desiring. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords be yourself. With the male or female, it does not matter. But it feels like you're going after what you really want in your life here. And there may be somebody here that regrets what they said or did to you that wants to apologize for what they did. This may be a King of Cups, a Cancer Pisces, or a Scorpio here, but overall, I feel like you're about to get super blessed in your life, Aquarius. And there may be somebody here that's missing some pet or animal they used to have, so I don't know if this is you or somebody that's around you, but you could be getting your pet back or, or a pet like the pet you used to have. But it feels like you guys are studying. You're receiving some knowledge here that's going to help you progress you within your career, which is going to, it's going to progress you in life, all right? It's going to help you evolve here. Aquarius, you may also have people fighting over you because there's a lot of people here that are wanting you here. You're desirable. Aquarius, we have, we have the Earth Mother Gaia you're connecting with, and overall, you're attracting in your heart's desires. See, what you've been asking God for is coming in for you, Aquarius, and you're being led and guided here towards... Your heart's desires, once again. Empress, you're being led and guided here towards your abundance. You're being led and guided here towards miracles in your life, Aquarius. You're being led and guided here towards what you're calling in. All right? So once again, you're calling in what you desire, which is a new beginning. And it's coming in. You're removing blockages. You've been desiring for blockages in your path to be removed. They are being removed, Aquarius. Let me go over here and grab these cards. And let's see more what we have going on for you. All right, so tell me more what we have going on for Aquarius. Queen of Pentacles. Some of you guys could have Earth in your birth chart. Earth is Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But overall, you guys have been doing some money manifestations, and the money is flowing in. It's flowing in all day, every day. You've been expecting it. It is coming in. Aquarius, once again, your heart's desires, what you're in your emotions about, it's coming in, Aquarius. It also feels like you're receiving the information you need, the knowledge you need here to, once again, help you progress. And it feels like you may be celebrating all this, Aquarius. Strength. Some of you guys may have Leo in your birth chart here, or maybe Cancer, the zodiac sign, but overall you guys are progressing, you're moving forward here, you're achieving, you're transforming, you're transforming your whole entire life to be how you want it to be. Okay, so let's see more what we have going on for Aquarius. And you guys are walking away, you're walking away from the past, maybe because you got truth and clarity about it that this was not for you. Here, once again, you guys are moving towards what you truly deeply desire in your life here because I feel like you realized what it is you truly deeply desire. And it's not what everybody wants you 
to think it is. It's something else, Aquarius. Something completely different. All right, four of wands. There may be somebody here that's trying to leak, take a leap of faith towards you as well, Aquarius. Somebody here that's wanting to be in a committed relationship with you. They're wanting to run off and get married here. Maybe you know this. Maybe you're aware of this here, Aquarius. Crows. Once again, we have the crows. You're connecting with crows or messages from spirit. But it feels like you're you're going to be reaching some form of enlightenment here. You're going to be reaching, you know, like, like a light bulb moment. Like everything clicks. It's like finally like, oh. This is what I was supposed to know, or oh, this is what I was supposed to do, you know? And we have the spirit world coming in with a message for you. I feel like the message is, is don't repeat don't re don't repeat things that you already know broke your heart before. It's just gonna break your heart again. Don't be repeating cycles like that. Just let it go. Let the person go. Let it all let the you know, if it's if it's not stable, don't go for it, Aquarius. The moon. All right, we have you guys connect with your moon sign. Some of you guys could have Scorpio moon or something, but either way, some of you guys could be moving. Once again, there's crows. And once again, there's love. There's somebody here coming towards you romantically. And we have you guys balancing out both the spiritual and the material. But we also have, we have more messages from the spirit world, so we're going to go have a look at that. And we're going to see more for Aquarius. We have number seven with Lakshmi. Lakshmi is the goddess of wealth and fortune, and that's what's coming your way. Number 29 with Iboga. Don't remember the message with that plant, so we're going to have a look at it later. 15 with Clear Quartz. Clear Quartz is about releasing and removing negativity, so some of you guys may need to connect with Clear Quartz if you're trying to remove all the, the negative things here. 28 with Cannabis. Tan cannabis just talks about relaxing, you know, taking breaks when you need to. So... Um, it does have a deeper message with it, too, so I'm going to read about that as well. So we got two plants to read. It says, with cannabis, it says, I honor myself and put my needs first. So you need to put your needs first, Aquarius. You need to honor yourself here. And the question is, uh, what are a few things I can do to help me relax throughout the day? All right, and then it says, with its flowering stalks and unmistakable leaves, cannabis has a reputation like no other. It also requires precise growing conditions and knows a thing or two about the true meaning of patience and taking it day by day. The universe recognizes how hard you're working right now, but it's urging you to take a moment for yourself. So this is what you're being told. Take a moment for yourself, Aquarius, to relax and to connect with your highest self. It's a great moment to ask yourself, am I on my highest path? Cannabis draws your attention to the magnificence of pure awareness and presence so you can see and feel what's really your truth. Slow down and enjoy a moment of peace. Sip from the well of spirit and replenish your soul. Take care of yourself holistically so you can thrive. And we have Iboga. I see the medicine in the difficult experiences. With branches spreading across the sky, the Iboga plant sits in the heat of the African sun. From small white flowers come orange fruits that sit amongst the plant's narrow dark green leaves. It says, the spirit of Iboga is letting you know that your guides want to connect with you. It's time to become fully aware of any destructive patterns that have been holding you back. Okay. They've been holding you back. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. We all develop coping mechanisms in an attempt to avoid repeating or experiencing past traumas. It's time to break the cycle and heal any past wounds that are subtly or not so subtly guiding your behaviors in the present. Spend a little time each day focusing on connecting with your higher self and guides about your dreams and aspirations, especially those relating to releasing self-limiting patterns. You may be releasing self-limiting patterns, trauma, destructive patterns, Aquarius. Call in and then look for support in the healing process. Keep your eye on the end goal. Envision yourself choosing to do things in new ways that support your highest desires arriving in your life. The question is, what destructive patterns are you aware of within yourself? Okay. So let's go over here and let's see more for you. We have you guys, once again, you're attracting in a bunch of wealth here. There's the money, there's the food, fruit here, Aquarius. And overall, there's new opportunities coming in. There's also new love coming in, Aquarius. Your heart's desires is coming in. Opportunities are coming in and you're looking at them. You're taking the opportunities. You're like, yes, I want this here. Maybe it's something to do with work here as well. Aquarius with the Eight of Pentacles or education. 
here with the eight of pentacles but overall this is what you've been manifesting and once again it is coming in Aquarius some of you guys may be saving up for a home and once again that's coming in all right comment down below what are you what are you manifesting are you saving up for a home what are you doing here what are you doing Aquarius but I feel like you're looking at opportunities you're taking the opportunities that are presented to you Queen of Swords Queen of Swords for yourself whether you're male or female does not matter but let's go over here and let's see more it feels once again you guys have been working hard here take a moment to yourself Aquarius Emperor your business is going to grow here and they're you know releasing self-sabotaging patterns here but what I also feel like here is that there's somebody here that's trying to return to you from your past that is a fake person here and I feel like once again you may be releasing that person Aquarius but I also feel like you may be kind of doing some healing some inner healing here within yourself Aquarius here uh, reconnecting back to your spirituality as well really kind of doing um, what is it kind of recentering yourself here but we also have you connected with Archangel Gabriel that's on this card and you're making decisions on what you do next after that what you do next here the chariot so it could be the car getting a new car here fixing up the car uh, could be moving forward towards success achievement victory here your goals Aquarius um, there's somebody here you already had conflict with and walked away from before that is trying to come back into your life once again you already know them as the false person you already know them as the fake person here so let's go over here to these cards and let's see more because we were talking about business for a moment so we're going to pull these cards for advice for Aquarius all right why do these cards feel like they don't shuffle right they probably don't Raise your vibe. You're being told to raise your vibration. Aquarius, why did my camera get over here? <laughs> love your life is what you're being told. You raise your vibration and attract opportunities when you love your life and enjoy each day to the fullest, okay? This is advice for you. You raise your own vibration and attract more opportunities when you just really enjoy your own life, okay? You're happy. You're attracting in happiness. Listen, mindfulness. You're being told to listen. Listen to your intuition and be mindful of what your inner being says to you. So you're being told to listen to your inner intuition, Aquarius. Follow your gut feelings and stay connected to the divine within. Transition. You're transitioning. You're transforming here. Changes are coming that require you to shift into new ways of thinking and doing business. Don't resist. Embrace the changes, Aquarius. Manage. So you're going to be doing some time managing. Managing your time more wisely here. Manage your time wisely. Delegate or outsource tasks that drain your energy and do tasks that are in your realm of unique brilliance. Okay. So. Oops. Let me go back over here and let me see more for you. Yeah, there may there may be somebody here trying to reappear back in your life, but it's like you don't even feel that connection with them anymore because it's like you got betrayed by this person. This person lied to you and at that point it's like you don't even trust them, so you're looking at them differently. You're like, I, I can't even trust you, man. And besides, you're going to have new love coming in anyways. And this new love is going to be justice for you, Aquarius. There's also somebody here that's watching you. This is somebody here you've already had an argument with before. That's just wanting to move forward with you. This is somebody here that's already caused a lot of anxiety in your life here. This is somebody here that's rushing back in. Aquarius. I don't know why you'd want this person, but here they are. So let's see more for you. Yeah, I feel like you'd, you're you confused on why you would want this person back you too. You'd be like, who would want this person? You don't want them. Nobody wants them, Aquarius. So you're like, why Why is this person coming back around? You know what I'm saying, Aquarius? You're like, I don't, I don't really want you. You know, because you already know how this person is. So I feel like you're remaining distant towards this person, Aquarius, and I feel like you're going more inward. You're putting yourself first rather than this person first. Because I feel like before you put this person first, but they didn't do the same back for you, or they didn't, they they just took advantage of you is what it feels like here. Yeah, maybe they were very immature towards you. And maybe that yeah, I feel like they took advantage of you. I feel like they were only interested in you and for material gain, Aquarius. And that was their only interest. And that's their only interest again. But you guys also have a new money opportunity coming your way. And once again, you already got truth and clarity about how this person is. So I feel like you're turning your back towards them. Because this person has turned your back, turned their back towards you before when you needed them. They weren't there. You know? They left you 
at a time when you needed them most. And they're deceptive as well. See, once again, you can't trust them. They're trying to come back and communicate with you, but you're like, why even bother talking? You know? Why? What's the point? Hmm. Temperance. See, there's, there's a book here. So you're receiving the knowledge you need, the information you need that's going to project you forward, that's going to allow you to move forward in your life, Aquarius, and you're receiving the money. It's going to help you progress within your career. Death card. All right. Also, looks like there's somebody here approaching you. You got your sword raised towards them. Maybe this liar. You're like, why are you coming back around? You know, it's like you you were enjoying your life. And then this person, you're like, I was enjoying life without you. You know, because this person tried to cause a lot of defeat in your life. They tried to cause you to crumble here, Aquarius. So here they are coming with another false love offer. And I feel like you just let them know, no, this is not happening. You're not welcome back. You know, I feel like that's what you're saying to them. Aquarius, maybe in your own way, but I feel like that's what you're going to be saying because you're not interested. So that's what I have for you. If you want to see more content for your sign, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right. You can also find even more content on my website too. All right. So goodbye guys.